Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Mr. Junior Dev. And uh, right in front of me, uh, I've got my CS50 IDE, and uh, I'm busy with the Lapset problem one, or Lapset one, uh, the credit problem. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the solution to the credit problem. Um, firstly, uh, make sure that within your folder, you've got your file credit.c. Once you've opened that up, um, basically what we need to do is, what they're asking us to do is to basically build a program that differentiates between three different card companies, mainly MasterCard, American Express, and Visa. So this program, uh, when it prompts the user for a unique digit, the unique digits on the front of the card, or the unique identifier. Basically, once you enter the digits into the, the, the program and press enter, then it's gonna throw out which card company it is from. So it's gonna identify and detect that no, this these digits are from MasterCard or they are from, this is a Visa, a Visa card or it's a American Express card. So basically this is what the program is gonna, uh, this is the function of the program. So, right. Um, okay, let's start off with uh, a credit or a debit card, of course, is a plastic card with which you can pay for goods and services. Printed on that card is a number that's also stored in the database somewhere so that when your card is used to buy something, the creditor knows whom to bill. There are all there are a lot of people with credit cards in this world, so those numbers are pretty long. American Express uses 15 digit numbers, MasterCard uses 16 digit numbers, and Visa uses 13 and 16 digit numbers. And those are decimal numbers 0 through 9, not binary. Which means, for instance, that American Express could print as many as 10 to the power of 15 uh, digits. So basically, one quadrillion unique cards. Actually, that's a bit of an exaggeration because credit card numbers actually have some structure to them. All American Express numbers start with 34 or 37. Most MasterCard numbers start with 51, 52, 53, 54, up until 55. They also have some other potential starting numbers, which we won't concern ourselves with for this problem. And all Visa numbers start with the number 4. But credit card numbers also have a checksum built into them, a mathematical relationship between at least one number and others. The checksum enables computers or humans who like maths to detect typos, example, transpositions, if not fraudulent numbers without having to query a database which can be slow. Of course, a dishonest mathematician could certainly craft a fake number that nonetheless respects the mathematical constraint. So a database lookup is still necessary for more rigorous checks. So what we're going to be using here is uh, something called the Loom's algorithm. So I'm going to explain it to you guys and then basically we're going to use this in the program, the, the exact formula. So the Loom's algorithm. So what's the secret formula? Well, most cards use the algorithm invented by Hans Peter Loon of IBM. According to Loon's algorithm, you can determine if a credit card number is uh, syntactically valid as follows. Multiply every other digit by two, starting with the numbers second to last digit, and then add those products digits together. Add the sum to the sum of digits that were multiplied by two. If the totals last digit is zero, or put more formally, if the total mod modular 
of 10 is congruent to zero, the number is valid. That's kind of confusing. So let's, uh, so let's try an example with, uh, yeah, let's say D David's visa is 40036000000014. For the sake of discussion, let's try first underline every other digit, starting with the numbers second to last. So let's start. Let, I'm just going to give you an example here. Four zero three six zero 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 four. Yeah. Okay. So for the sake of this session, let's first underline every other digit starting with the number second to last digit. So. Okay, one multiplied by two plus zero multiplied by two plus zero point two plus zero point two plus. all right so let's go ahead and um we've got a card number in front of us here let's you we'll just for the sake of the tutorial or for the sake of it uh call it peter's card number so it's four zero zero three six and then it's got like six zeros and then one four all right okay so now let's multiply let's multiply each of the underlined digits by two okay do you agree with me okay let's multiply each of the underlined digit by two so we got one times two plus zero times two plus zero times two plus zero times two plus zero times two six times two and then we've got zero times two plus four times two okay so that gives us two zero 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 twelve plus zero plus eight okay now let's add those products digits uh not to the product product themselves but together so two plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus one plus two plus zero plus eight it's 13 all right great now let's add that sum 13 to the sum of digits that weren't multiplied by two starting from the end so we're going to start from the end 13 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3 plus 0 and that gives us 20 all right so Yep, that's that's the last digit in the sum of 20 is a zero. So Davis card is legit. Um, so the program will run. It will use this equation and basically it will say if you when you enter this once you prompt and you enter this card number, it will throw out that Davis card is valid. Right? Are you guys with me all right great okay so let's just move on from there so validating credit card numbers isn't hard but it does get a bit tedious by hand let's write a program
Okay, let's go ahead and write this program now. Um, all right, the implement, implement, implementation details. Okay, so what, what do we need to do? So we need to write a program that prompts the user for credit card number and then reports via printf whether it is a valid American Express, MasterCard, or Visa card number per the definitions of each format herein. So that we can automate some tests of your code, we ask your program's last line of output to be American backslash N or MasterCard backslash N or Visa backslash N or invalid backslash in. So nothing more, nothing less. So this is basically what we need to do. Um, so we basically need to build a program that prompts the user. And when the user enters the unique digits on the front of any of the card company's cards, the program will identify where those digits, which digits belong to which card company, and basically will throw out the name of that card company. So trying to explain it as simply as possible uh, for everyone to understand. Um, so let's go ahead the top of our files or at the top of our files let's include uh, obviously the standard dot, dot io h it's dot h we need to include math.h. Mm, that's a very good question. If you think of that, should we? I don't know. Think for yourselves. Uh, I don't think we need it actually because the equations aren't actually that complex. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to have to um, include a get long because there, there's long digits in this uh, program and on the cards they're very long digits so let's go ahead and uh, int main void so long uh, we're going to call it card what we're going to say long cards no let's just call it card and we're going to have to start off with a do our loop what equals get long double quotes card number as a string so when you prompt the user to the prompt the user obviously for a card number so Let's go ahead with the while card smaller than zero. So basically what we're saying is the card needs to be smaller than zero. And uh, let's just put in some comments. So card number greater than zero. But, and then we're going to go ahead with um, int card. So we're going to say so in order to use this equation, what, what we're going to have to do is um, because we're going to be multiply, because, okay, we're going to multiply each of the underlying digits by two, and then let's add those products digits, the product themselves together. Okay. Let's add that sum to the sum of digits. So what, what we're going to need is we're going to need to basically differentiate, we're going to need eight cards. So if we're going to use up all the digits, we're going to need eight cards, exactly. So, all right, let's go ahead. So basically our descriptions are going to be from card one to card eight. So in card one, 
record two, three, all the way to card eight. Really starting to confuse myself. <laughs> I'm going to say semicolon at the end. And uh, so we're going to start off with card one. It's going to be equal to card modular 100 divided by 10 multiplied by 2, right? That's the equation that uh, we said we're going to use. So let's go ahead, card one is equal to card modular 100 and then neatly divided by 10 we need this sort of spacing because we want um, we're just trying to practice great style you see this spacing in between here you know trying to be as neat as possible You might think, oh, it's it's not really that important. Believe me, it becomes important later. Once you develop the habit, it it becomes important later. So, but it's up to you. How do you want to code? Everyone's different. Okay, I'm gonna leave spacing. Yeah, I think it's better if we leave some spacing in between. Multiply by two. Uh, yeah, so basically what happens now is on card two, I just did exactly what I did on card one, which is incorrect. I'm supposed to, if you see the pattern, um, when you multiply by two, the pattern is, as you can see, um, if you take the underlying digits by two, and then it's one times two zero plus zero times two plus zero times two okay that gives you two plus two and then what happens is if you take those products and multiply uh, the now let's add those product digits together and that's sum to the sum of the digits that were, weren't multiplied by two starting from the end so look the basically every time we add a new card we're going to basically card modular 100 we're going to add two digits so if you can see it it starts creating this pattern if we do it on every card you'll you'll see the you'll notice the pattern that's being created and then it's simple then it's just adding two digits to every line of code for each card so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so right here the first line of code it was 10 now it's 1000 we had two digits so first line of code it was 100 now it's 10,000 because we had another two digits so all right so it's divided by 1000 times two multiplied by two it doesn't look correct. Now it looks right. Right. I'm going to carry on with this pattern. Card three. I'm going to do exactly the same. Just add two digits to that. So it's 10,000. Add another two digits. Boom. Done. Divided by was 1,000. So now. What we've got 100,000, yeah. So let me just make sure, yeah. We can easily make mistakes, and then it's multiplied by two. Then card four. Oh. Card modular. Add another two digits. I'm not even sure how much that is. It looks like a million. So that was 100,000. This is going to be 
10 million. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're at five, yeah? Seven. Very good. Uh, multiply by two. Quad uh, five. Make sure that it's uh, two digits on X on each line because otherwise um, we need to follow the pattern exactly. Otherwise, what's going to happen is our pro program obviously is not going to run properly. So two digits there. Oops. So this is exactly like the previous line because it's one, two digits in front. So there's another one, two digits at the back and then you just add another two. That's it. Multiply by two. Don't forget your semicolon. Right. I'm going to carry on here with card, modular, two digits. Part seven. right okay, and then finally card eight you would have just told me hey fabio you could have just copied and pasted hmm. oh well Bit too late for that now Um, we're done with that. I just want to make sure that I've added two digits to each part. It seems like we have exactly. Yeah. And if you see, uh, but you, you, you can see the pattern uh, that I was talking about if you use that exact equation. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Okay, what we're going to do now is um, we've gone ahead, divided by 10, add another, added another two digits behind that on card two, on three, added another two digits behind that, on card four, the same, up till eight, multiplied that by two. Now what we need to do is take card one and uh, module it by 100 divided by 10 um, and then plus card one again modulate by 10 all right so we're going to start off basically with the same structure from uh, co uh, card one till card eight so Let's go ahead and copy and paste there, make it simple. As they say, copy pasta, copy pasta. <laughs> the new phrase, copy pasta. So.
Right, so it's we're gonna go ahead uh card modular 100 again this time what we're going to do we're going to divide it by 100 uh divided by 10 sorry but we're not going to multiply it we get we're going to take that sum and add it so let's go ahead add it to part one again Quad one here. So quad one modular hundred divided by ten, and now we're going to take that sum over here that we get, and then we're going to add it to quad one again, and then modular ten, comma, and we basically we're not going to add any zeros or anything like that we're going to do the exact same equation to all of all card eight from card one to card eight so we're going to do exactly the same equation so But we got that done. Right, so as you can see, this is the formula and uh, the card company's name. So we need to set card to the card company's name um, so that the program can verify um, that it is a card. So basically, we're going to have to use long on visa since we're gonna, there's so many digits so we need to use uh, long um i'm gonna put american express just under long let's make it american yeah. That's also going to be set to card. And then long master. master card, we're just going to put master. Mm -hmm. I don't like what I did, yeah. Putting capital letters and stuff. I think it's going to just confuse stuff even further. Set that equal to card. So then what we're going to do next is we're going to have to go ahead and start off a if, if statement. Now we're going to need an if statement to differentiate between the different cards. So how we're going to structure this now. So if sum three modular 10, so we're going to take sum three, uh, modular 10, uh, not equal to zero, printf invalid, and then return zero. All right, I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So let's start off with the if statement. So we're going to take sum three, modular 10, and then if it's not equal to zero. So this exclamation mark in, uh, in front of the equal sign means that it's not equal to zero. Uh, then what we're going to do is Go ahead and print if uh, double quotes place all the percent s for string uh, backslash n. Then 
in the string format we're going to put in valid right so then after that we're going to return zero null Okay, so now basically we're going to carry on with the if statement, but uh, it's going to be an if while statement. So it's similar to a do while, but um, if while statement is like, for instance, like if some three modulo 10 is not equal to zero, print if invalid. Okay, great, return zero. So then what's going to happen is we're going to identify which card is right now so let's go ahead and put some comments of uh, at the top here of exactly what we're going to do with the while in this if statement okay, identify which card it is so while card is greater than zero not mistaken yeah and then card is equal to card uh, divided by 10 comma length i'm going to take the length and then we're going to plus plus so it's just going to increment basically we're going to need to increment from there. So that's if we want to identify which card it is. What? Whoa, there's a typo. Whoops. Card divided by 10. Then we take the length of that and plus plus. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And the card has to be greater than zero so that we don't get a negative input. So if the user inputs a negative number it will not work so if we don't say greater than zero then when the user uh, inputs a negative number then it will work so we don't want that that's what we need to say while well, card is greater than zero so this is very important um if you some of you didn't understand that that's the reason why i did that and why we need to do that so Next, uh, the, the, the comments that I add here actually helps so that you can do the program. It's like you take the program and you basically break it up. So now I'm taking this part of the program, identify which card it is, and I'm breaking it up. So now the next part of the if statement, while, st uh, while uh, of the, the next part of the program now, what I'm going to do within the if statement is um, identify if card is a visa card. So now, firstly, we started with identify which card it is, but now we're going to start off with which card it is, like if it's a visa card. So let's, we need to differentiate, you see, exactly. So the program knows exactly what to do. Identify if card is a visa card and while visa okay so now visa is going to have to be greater or equal to 10 yeah that's it Yeah, it's going to need to be greater or equal to 10. Uh, so we've got visa here, divide or equals to 10. If visa
equals to ampersand ampersand length whoa, 13 and go ahead and use the all operator length and take length again we'll do 16 so 13 digits in length and then 16 digits in length and if these is equal to four what what i'm trying to say here is so i'm basically starting a new if statement and um Okay, so we got while visa is greater than or equal to 10, right? Okay, we got that down. All right, so now if visa is equal to 4, so the first digits, if it starts with 4, then and the length is 13 or the length is 16 digits. So you get what's happening here, guys. That's pretty simple um this is as simple as i can put it printf double quotes okay you got your placeholder percent s string and then backslash n for your spacing enter and then we're going to put visa in string so then it throws out visa Otherwise, return zero. No. Right, so that's great. We got this down. Okay, so let's go ahead and identify. If the card is an American Express, so I'm I'm still I'm carrying on with the breakup thing that I'm doing when I break up the program. So let's see. Well now we're going to identify if the card is an American Express uh, card. So we're going to do exactly the same thing, basically what we did here right here we're going to do exactly the same right so let's go ahead and do that so while while master is greater than or equals to Let's make sure how many digits is that. This shouldn't be in the comments. Okay, so while master or master card, uh, we're going to use divided by or equals to 14. Okay, 14 digits. I just want to make sure. I'm actually checking my own master card to see how many digits there are. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to just, I'm not even going to bother putting that in. I'm going to copy and paste that because, wow, I'm going to get confused here. Yeah. You know, I'm going to make a mistake and then I've got a typo or an error in my program and then it doesn't run. So we're going to make sure, yeah? So, uh, while well, if... Gonna start now. Start off with a new if statement, and like, like I said, we we we're breaking up the program here. So we're gonna do the exactly the same here. So basically, we're gonna differentiate between the different cards. So uh, if length, we're gonna go ahead. If the length is it's equal to sixteen. Or the same as 16 and percent and master is equal to it's 51 up until 55 so 
I think there's a better way of writing this code. Like I think you can do all 51 up until 55 in one in like one line of code, if I'm not mistaken, but um, I don't remember it at the moment. So please forgive me for that. But yeah, there's always better ways of writing programs. There'll always be a better way. More viable, more economic, you name it. So, okay, so we got uh, master is equal to 51. Master is equal to 52, is equal to 53. Um, and or master equal to 54. Or master equal to 5. That's it. Right. 51 up to 55. Right, we got that down. So what we're going to do next is, um, yeah, we're going to need to break this up again. Okay, not, not really. We already done. Um, else, uh, we're going to have to go and print F. So if that's the case, we got 51 up until 55. Print F. Place all the string slash n what am i doing yeah <clears throat> and then i'm gonna go ahead and print out the stream master part So basically, when the user is prompt and you enter a MasterCard number, yeah, then the program is going to throw out MasterCard. Something happened there, sorry. Return zero. So, okay, I got that. All right, else. If not, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and print F, double quotes, place all the string backslash in. We're going to go ahead and print invalid. Right. There's no MasterCard or Visa or American Express number, then the program's going to throw out invalid output. So, and then lastly, return zero, null, credit. Oh, there's an error, typo. Well, four errors long master. Declared, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go have a look. Oh, monster. Where's the other typo? You see that get long card length long master. So, what's wrong with long master? Uh, 
Uh, apparently, I've got a lot of typos. Yeah, I do. Right, card 10. There's a typo. Okay, great. Where else? Into card 1. Just before some hint. And someone. Oh, yeah, it was because of that. Because of the previous typo, I think that's why. Okay, so then, yeah, it's caused a problem everywhere. So let's go ahead and make credit. Two typos. Some two. Oh my. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I put here in some three equals in some one plus some two, but I didn't um, uh, give a basically stipulate that card nine up until card 16 is actually equal to some two. So sorry about that. That's why. How could I have missed that? Wow. I feel like a complete idiot. So now it looks like it's thrown the whole program, of course. Anyway, let's go make credit. So now it looks like it's thrown the whole program, of course. Anyway, let's go make credit. So right here, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Uh, no, it's basically the same format. Copy this right here. And then I'm going to paste it down below here. Just underneath. The identifiers. Okay, so then I'm going to re-label them. We're going to start off with quad 9 up until quad 16 as stipulated here. So, So um, we're not going to multiply by two. So we're going to start off with card modular 10. And then um, comma. That's for card nine. And let me just put a space here. So it's neater. So it's then it's card modular 1000. Divided by 100, we're not multi, we won't be multiplying at this time. Mm. So, the same for here, what we're going to do is we're just going to add two, two digits. Uh, it's this similar pattern, so you got 100 plus two digits, so here's one extra. Take away the multiplication. You know the pattern already. 
girls are really used to. So then, yeah, it's going to be the first five digits. And uh, as you can see, two digits, add another two. Uh, and two take away one two 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 these are all correct so that's one two Three, six, eight, three, six, eight, another two. So, okay. so I think I think that's gonna work. Mm, I think that's good. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. And then we're gonna head over. What we're gonna do? We're gonna need to add up the sum. To so let me just make sure we identified the quads. Yeah. Why did I do? Oh uh, yeah, it's because I copy and paste it. Yeah. Faster. Okay, that's done. Okay, so after that, after the identifiers, what we're going to do is we're going to sum, take sum two, and set it equal to these. That's it. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. That's it. Right. So, and then, then we need to take the sum of sum 1 and sum 2 and add it together and we'll get int sum 3. Sum one, sum two. That's so we're going to go ahead and see if the program runs. Here's all of the code. I think it should be fine. Let's go ahead and make credit. Nine errors generated. Never works first time, does it? Whoops, what am I doing here? What? I'm supposed to be adding these together. Yeah, now it's like I'm identifying them again. That's incorrect. I'm supposed, sorry. I'm supposed to be adding these together. Stupid typos. So I got that. Let's go ahead and try again. One error. 
Well, greater than or equal to 10. Well, what is greater than or equal to 10? Which line is this? 70, 70, 70. Yeah, I didn't stipulate which card, yeah. Visa, man. Yeah, I'm supposed to put card, yeah. While card is greater than or equal to 10. I don't know how I just go past things like that. Right. Yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, I think that should be fine. The program should run. Hopefully, no more typos. Okay. It does compile. Hallelujah. Let's just uh, use some random uh, MasterCard. Let's try that out. 5351900 Okay. Uh, as you can see, it's invalid. Okay. Yeah, I had another typo. Um, not in card, but it's supposed to be Visa. Uh, right. And the length is 13 or 16. Print a Visa. Right. So, um, go to Master. So, that's the case. Then we got American Express. Supposed to be 16, right? Yeah, I, I didn't put American here. Yeah. Or did I put it somewhere else? No, I didn't even I didn't yeah, I didn't even differentiate between American. That's why it's throwing these zeros. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna break it up again. That's why I break it up, otherwise I get confused. So I'm gonna go ahead again. If I if the card if the card is American Express. So well American equal to So it's the card, it's the visa, it's American, and then it's mass. 13 digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, 13 there. So then we go ahead with another one. American. Divided by or equal to. Okay. If the length is fifteen and ampersand ampersand American equal to thirty four or American equal to Then you just put your master card. identify if it's American Express uh, 37 then we're gonna go ahead and print if and string backslash in American Express And 
and we're going to do it on the return. Um, I'm going to try and let's go compile the program again. My credits, uh, slash credits. See if it's working now. Uh, I'm going to type in a master card. Number, so let's see if it's working. Just some random number. As you can see there, stipulated identifies that it is MasterCard, in fact, MasterCard. I'm going to go ahead and type in an uh, invalid number. So let's just put in any random number. And as you can see there, it says that it's invalid. So the program is running fine. The program is running properly. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you like this kind of content. Uh, please like and subscribe for all the newbies out there. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.